Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some, uh, it says Crunchy Valley, I guess that's the name of the company, Crunchy Valley Lavish Dippers. I have the original, the Mediterranean Thyme. Uh, garlic and Parmesan and garlic. So we found these at two, uh, for $2.99 a piece at, at a GFS, which is Gordon Food Service. That's where we found them. Um, we have never heard of Crunchy Valley before. But this is my kind of thing. I love a flavored crisp. Yes. these uh, They're located in Detroit, Michigan. It says use with dips, soups, salad toppings, or cheese boards. Uh, six servings, one ounce, 28 grams, about six pieces is 130 calories. Yes, or just eat it. Yeah. Now, that's like those um, whales and all those flavored crackers. Triscuits. Right? Triscuits. These are not in wow, resealable bags. So people have said in the past, why do you make a big deal about the resealable bag? Well, because even in this day and age, things still come that aren't resealed. Resealable. I had a whole one. Don't recommend it. I'm kind of dry. I like the texture of them. Um, it's got a crisp to it, but they're kind of soft. You know, I even kind like them. They're kind of layered. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's very, very plain. Yeah, it is very plain, but it's got that nice baked bread kind of flavor. Yeah, that's exactly like what it's like. Yes. Like it, the outside of French bread. That's exactly what I'm picturing. I'm picturing <laughs> you've made your own homemade bread and you get that nice crust. That's what that's it like eating. Yeah, that, that's really up. you mentioned about the reseal bags. The reason we say that is because if it had a reseal, we can just zip. If we don't, we either have to put them in a Ziploc bag or we have to tape fold them it. over and, and put a chip clip or something. Yeah. Or tape them. That, that's why we say that. It's just easier. This one is, Ooh, wow. it looks like it's heavily spiced. Um, so it's just rosemary. Heavily seasoned. This is Mediterranean, Mediterranean. Thyme. It's 130 calories per six. And it has soybean oil, salt, sugar, zatar mix. I think I even get a little sesame in there. That one's okay. The, the spices in that one aren't my thing. I don't like those Mediterranean kind of spices necessarily, mm -hmm. but it's not bad. I like it quite a bit. And I could see dipping that. You know how when you go to, um, is it Johnny Carino's, they give you the oil? Yeah, the garlic. Oil. That reminds me of um, that uh, when you have the plain bread and you dip in the oil. That's exactly what that tastes like. I can like. see that. It's got a little stronger spice in mm -hmm. there, though. I think that's delicious. You like things like rosemary and stuff, I though, do. which I don't necessarily mm -hmm. like as much. And it does have plenty of seasonings oh, on tons, there. Oh, tons. It has tons of flavor. Um, yes, lots and lots of flavor. So you wouldn't have to add your own. I can see that one being good with cheese, too. Like a cheese or something. Yeah. Else. But you um, can eat any of these by themselves. Absolutely. So this is garlic. Yeah, this one I'm looking for. Garlic, I'm looking forward to it too. 140 calories for four. Oh. That's crumbly. It's still like layered. It's soft. Uh-huh. That's delicious, but different. It's good. I wish there was a little salt in there, but... I really like the garlic flavor. The, the garlic goes really, really well. I could, that needs to go with a, a sour cream kind of dip. That, I like it. I like the flavor. I, honestly, I wish it was a little bit stronger garlic, mm -hmm. but I wish it was in the crisper cracker. I know, I do, I do miss that crisper flavor. Because this is, is, is softer. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it doesn't have the crunch, but I, I, I think it's delicious. I like the flavor of that one better than the Mediterranean. The last one is Parmesan garlic. So garlic, Parmesan garlic. Uh, this is 130 calories for six. They got a spinach dip on the front. Oh, okay. Now these have some powder on them. Mm-hmm. Lots of white powder. And we're back to a crispy chip. Mm-hmm. Mm, I like that. I wonder if those garlic ones were supposed to be that soft. Never know. I love the texture. Mm -hmm. The flavors are a little more garden variety, like garden salad kind of kind of flavors. Mm -hmm. Like you're getting a... Um, like a salad dressing. Yeah, like an Italian dressing or mm -hmm. something. That's kind of what they reminds me of. I wouldn't necessarily say Parmesan or really garlic. No. 
almost like a sweet and sour chip. I mean, a uh, sour cream and onion chip. Not quite, but... These would be really good if you took the whole bag and crumbled it. And put them over a salad. And put them over a salad. Yeah. It would be delicious. I think that and the um, the the Mediterranean one would be good on a salad, honestly. The Mediterranean, yeah. Uh, my favorite out of all of them is the Mediterranean, and not I know it's not Kevin's choice. No, mine's the favorite. Um, the last one, the Parmesan. But I like it because it has the strongest flavor out of the four. And then I'm going to pick the garlic, even though it's softer. I wish it was crisper. Uh, because it had a, a really, it was stronger than the Parmesan garlic. So the gar Parmesan garlic, you could taste it, but it was it didn't have near the flavor. So I'm the choices I'm making. It's because of all the flavor. Um, I would pick the Parmesan garlic first, mm -hmm. then the garlic, then the plain, and then the Mediterranean. Kevin's just not going. <laughs> I don't for like the Mediterranean, Mediterranean flavors, but I do think these are great quality. Oh, yeah, very good flavors. And if you see them in in a traditional store so like this is gfs they service a lot of uh schools and businesses yeah stuff like that so if you see the this brand in a traditional grocery store you'll have to let people know in the comments below where you found them uh, but i will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching